Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is doing incredibly well as always. So I have a reading today for you guys. It's a specific message that I received. Um, and it's for those of you who are on this twin flame journey and maybe you're experiencing separation with your divine masculine at this time. And I feel like this reading is going to be for the divine feminines who are mothers um, on this journey because I'm sensing a lot of deep regret from many of the masculines who might have been in and out of your life, what I'm seeing now is that they are maturing in a sense where they're reflecting on past behaviors and they might have even done some inner child healing of their own, um, but they're thinking back to the moments where they're starting to see that coming in and out of your life was just not the right thing to do, especially because you have like children to take care of or you yourself have to be emotionally balanced uh, in order to be the best you can um, for your kids and so I'm getting a lot of deep regret and like feeling like very very sorry from the masculines um, because they're like reflecting on conversations that they had with you where you might have been really upset or you might have been crying um, and in the moment they might have been ignorant about the situation or they were being impulsive or they just didn't have that understanding but now they have the spiritual understanding to take those types of things into consideration is what i what i'm feeling um so again like what they're wanting you to know is that if you guys do have kids it's something that they're thinking heavily about especially if they don't have kids it's triggering a lot of healing within them where they are more aware of of being the best versions of themselves because in some way shape or form if they wish to connect with you in any type of way they want the experience with them to be positive so that they don't ever have a negative effect on like your um like energy or emotional well-being uh, in a sense to to let that affect you with your kids um and I, it's like a sweet energy coming through it's almost like very protective i feel the emperor <laughs> um like the king of pentacles just someone like very like dependable and yeah a lot of them are just feeling very childlike um about this connection like a lot of healing going on around that okay so i'm gonna get some cards out of the fairy tarot and we'll get some additional messages about just what's been going on with the masculines with this energy like why are they all of a sudden having these types of spiritual epiphanies um, you know, what have they been going through? What do they want you to know, Divine Feminine, about what they've been working on in their time away from you? Okay, so we have the Empress. So they see you as the Empress, which, as you guys can see there, the little babe uh, curled up <laughs> inside the leaf. Hang on, let me just wait for the camera to zoom in. So this is definitely a message for those of you who have kids. And this is what they see you as. Um, in a sense, too, I feel like many of you are like sitting, listening to this reading and you're like, I have never let him affect my ability to uh, be there for my kids or um, just, you know, it, it, be a mom in, a, in, in, the, in the grand scape of things. But like that's how sensitive your masculine is feeling towards you right now. Like th to know that they might have caused any type of pain or upset or emotional disturbance knowing that you've got this huge responsibility on your hands um, like for me it's just like a very sweet energy of deep reflection for them okay so the message here is time to take action the power of creativity success that allows for a life of luxury so a lot of them know at this time that you know the space between you is necessary and in fact i shared a reading on patreon where many of your masculines are waiting for time to pass before they connect with you again and that's specifically because they're doing a lot of this deep reflection like having these types of thoughts where sorry guys this one is really tricky to pick up i don't know why maybe we'll keep it but um i feel like that's why they're doing a lot of deep reflection right now it's because they're having these types of um like more emotional thoughts uh, about the connection and that's exactly why time apart for you guys is necessary 
because again, you both are here to be the best versions of yourself. And I think that ironically, if you're a divine feminine with children, you're very grounded, you're the empress, um, you know, before you came into this energy, um, there were parts of you that might have struggled for your independence, let's say, for example. Um, and, you know, ironically, you've met a divine masculine as well, where there has been times where you've connected with him and he's kind of mirrored that type of um, lack of independence or lack of emotional awareness or, or being able to be grounded. And now watching you in this energy is what is causing them to want to really take action and, you know, step up like step up i hate saying step up to the plate because it just i don't know i don't like how it sounds but you know it's like it's not not that you need them to do that but it's like they just want to because they want you to know that that is the uh, effect that you have on them so a lot of you need to know right now like they think that you are an amazing mother they're getting deep epiphanies about like I'm hearing treating you like the goddess you are or the queen you are. Um, no one sees you in the way that this masculine sees you when they're aligned in their higher self. Like I feel like when your masculine isolates and they spend a lot of time thinking about you and the, they're in the highest versions of themselves, the way they see you is seeing you as the empress. Um, like your energy is unmatched. Uh, they don't they've never seen anyone else like you and they never will okay so we have the five of cups so trust that there's a reason for everything that happens and i feel like again this is the separation that you guys are going through right now um, but it says remove yourself from the negative emotions of others focus on that which frightens you or worries you um you know, this might be the separation and the exact transformation that your masculine is going through because there's this beautiful butterfly here and right now they are focusing on thoughts that frighten them or worry them because this goes back to, again, experiences that they might have had with you where they realize just how immature a lot of their games were, like the, the ghosting, the coming in and out, very well knowing that you were a, a very mature woman, Divine Feminine. I think like there's a sense of feeling like embarrassment or deep regret um, about dealing with someone like you and then still taking part in some of the behaviors that they did. That is what I'm feeling. But I, I love the energy because for me, like it's a disruption. Like five is for me about disruption. And I think that when you have... A, a, a faulty foundation and this five comes in it's like you're sure to experience you know your tower crumbling and I feel like emotionally that's happening for many of your masculines but it's happening for the better like a lot of them who are having these types of epiphanies like right down to I can't believe I acted that way because what am I thinking like causing drama in her life like she's a mom like many of you might also be like a mom and a wife and you also had to try to like balance your your family life as well as having this twin flame experience in secret, let's say, for example. Um, and a lot of your masculines were just working off of their own triggers and not taking accountability and responsibility. Um, I feel like a lot of them are, are reflecting and going like, what the hell was I thinking? Like I, that it must have been a lot for her to try to go back to whatever life she has and be able to be balanced uh, like for other people that she's responsible for so yeah yeah that's yeah it's like almost like heavy energy in my chest but almost like a relief to get it out is what i'm feeling from the masculines okay um let's see where else where else they're at on the journey okay no these are way too many i'll take it back Okay, so they're definitely in deep contemplation here with the two of swords um, and I feel like the disruption that's happening with their emotions is forcing them into a place of you know having to make some sound decisions here reflecting on why it is they 
are in and out. Maybe it might have a lot to do with some of the uh, habits that they're keeping or the types of situations or environments that they're involved with. And I think that something is going to need um, like cutting off, you know, like they're in this place of, of really deciding on what it is they want out of this twin flame experience with you. Because I think like at the end of the day, what I'm getting out of this card is that you're always going to be there in the back of their mind, Divine Feminine. Like, not even in the back of their mind. I feel like you're always going to be the main focus. And at this time, a lot of your Divine Masculines are sitting in this place of thinking about what it is they truly want. Some of them might be getting older in life. And like naturally, like they don't really have the energy or time to keep up the lifestyle that they were keeping up. Um, many of your masculines might be bachelors as well and they have been for a long time and I feel like a lot of feminines don't know it's because they were always holding space for you um, they were always hoping wishing and dreaming and praying that you would either get a divorce or get separated or um, you know make some type of decision to be available to them but because you're the empress you placed a lot of emphasis on like responsibility and prioritizing your time and energy and placing it where it needed to be the most and that's why i feel like a lot of your masculines at this time are having to think heavily about like their own foundation and the stability um, that they have for themselves in order to come towards this empress because they've always seen you in that way a mature woman a woman who takes care of you know like her husband and her family and her home um, a lot of them are just they came in towards you really immaturely and I feel like you never once like clowned them for that like you were genuinely non-judgmental and open and just unconditional in your love and they've never been able to match that anywhere else as much as they've been intimidated and they've ran and they've ghosted something in them always wants to come back to this energy and that's what's putting a lot of them in a place to kind of sit down and make a decision okay because we have the, the queen of swords and i feel like the queen of swords is someone who says you know i've i've tried to be compassionate and i've tried to give you the benefit of the doubt but the queen of swords is the type of woman that says you know you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and she recognizes the lesson right then and there and she has her sword ready to you know make cuts wherever she needs to to make them um and she's not afraid because i think that she's so emotionally stable with this empress energy that a lot of you already know that if it's not with your divine masculine you will still attract the highest good to you you will still attract abundance and love so i'll get one more card and we'll uh find out what else the masculines are working on or just anything that they want you to know at this time divine feminine especially through this message of you being a mom and them feeling a lot of deep regret about that about the way you know things might have gone um okay so i'll just take what's at the top here because they were way too many here um but we have the life experience card um that's coming up okay so it's almost like that tower moment i was talking about um with the five of cups there but i feel like you know at this time you know many of your masculines are like they're transforming like old beliefs um many of you need to know that a lot of their behaviors and okay like their emotional immaturity um it stems from their upbringing okay and that's just what what i'm picking up on this card it might be like a specific message to those of you who have had this epiphany before um but this might be like a divine masculine who they're always under the influence of other people and when they met you they might have had really distorted ideas about coming towards a mature woman like you especially being around the people that they were who knew of the connection um but i feel like it's time for this masculine to really trust what it is they 
they want and and they might have been taking advice from people who were emotionally immature as well is what i'm getting um you know i think that the point is is that they've got to make a decision for themselves and that's part of this life experience um that's happening here but the two of swords tells me that you know they're getting deep contemplation about having to do this to move towards you and to not really care about anybody else's opinion and i feel like for many of the masculines in the past they might have thought that like you would have continued to hold this space for them of letting them come in and out and i think that many of you are in a place now where it's like you're still holding space for them but they don't have the ability to come in out of your life anymore and that's what's putting them into a place of uh you know deep reflection right now And they might have been seeing, too, where they were really wrong about certain things. Uh, like, like I'm seeing a, a masculine, too, who might have been very demanding of your time, Divine Feminine. Um, and when I think about emotional maturity as well, like this is a masculine who would ghost you if you didn't like text them back on time or call them back on time. Like, you know, they felt this love intensely towards you, but in a way where it was like bringing out the worst in them, just very possessive of your energy. And I think you guys put a swift ending to that because I feel like this empress says, like, I have priorities in my life that, you know, I'm not willing to, uh, to budge. You know, I can't, I can't do this if it, if it's going to be this, uh, if it's going to be this messy or rough of a roller coaster ride. And I think that it, it was it came out very effortless for a lot of the divine feminines and it came as like a soul shock to to many of your masculines because again maybe in the past they were used to having people tolerate that but not you and it's had you know a significant impact on like their emotional state right now with that five of cups there okay so they are thinking about the connection and i'm sorry this reading feels <laughs> a little bit heavier but yeah if you do have kids um and you know many of you at this time have at some point thought to yourself like how would this ever work at times it feels weird to think about your masculine being a part of your reality or a part of your life with kids involved um but i feel like the universe is giving you a clear sign of you know it doesn't have to be that literal um a lot of this journey is about you know the healing that's taking place right now and the spiritual epiphanies that are being had um, so I feel like there will be a lot more beautiful experiences to have with your masculine, um, even just through connecting with each other and communicating. And that will fulfill your soul so much more than anticipating some kind of physical relationship to, to come together. I feel like the two of you, when you're ready to come together again and express yourselves to each other, you know, you'll be surprised how full your soul uh, will feel, especially when you hear some of your masculines uh, just thoughtful apologies and the way that they do care for you and everyone that you care for okay i love you guys take care and i'll catch you guys in the next reading okay bye